From your memory banks, if I say a set E, a subset of the real numbers, is dense in the reals, what does that mean? What's the, what completes that definition? Yeah. So for any real numbers A that are less than B, I can find a rational number. There exists a rational number uh, of, uh, sorry, there exists an element of E. Sorry. There exists an E, an uh, element of E, with X between A and B. It's just another way of unpacking the interval idea that you were talking about. So any real numbers that I pick, A and B, if A is less than B, I can find an element of E in between. Right? There's no way for me to get two elements of the reals that have no element of E in between them. Right? So no matter how close A is to B, there's always some element of our set in between A and B. Um, and so that's what it means for a set E to be dense in the reals. Um, we could also replace the word real here with some other formulations, right? Uh, one of the things that I talk about in our prep work video um, is that it's also true. So our theorem, the main theorem that we, that we use here is that Q is dense in R, which again, we can't prove yet. Uh, we will prove pretty soon. Um, Q is dense in R. So between any two real numbers, I can find a rational. But it's also true that Q is dense in itself. Between any two rational numbers, I can find another rational number. Think for a moment about why that might be true. In fact, there's a constructive way to build that proof. Um, it's also true that the irrationals are dense in themselves. Between any two irrationals, I can find an irrational. And it's also true going the opposite ways. The irrationals are dense in the rationals. Between any two rationals, I can find an irrational. And conversely, between any two irrationals, I can find a rational. That one immediately follows from the, the density of the reals there that we saw, the density of the rationals and the reals. So all of these statements are true. We can approximate any rational by another rational to arbitrary precision. We can approximate any irrational by an irrational or a rational to arbitrary precision. So any or all of these things might be useful depending on your context. And the density uh, definition just guarantees the existence of one element of E in between our two elements of, of R.